today's a health, mental health awareness stream because we will play a set of games that I have heard that are really good that talk about depression and other mental health issues. And uh, we also have um, this game, which is basically a game created by the Financial Times, which is um, which is a newspaper, I think. The Climate Game. Can you reach net zero by 2050? Net zero basically is about the carbon footprint. As you know, every single action that we do uh, leaves a carbon footprint in the planet, which is basically the calculated um, amount of uh, CO2, uh, carbon dioxide, that gets released into the atmosphere. Of course, it's not always carbon dioxide that released into the atmosphere. Uh, atmosphere. Sometimes it's like something else, but that has a similar effect. So that's why it's like calculated into the uh, tons of CO2. But uh, the thing is, like, in order for our planet, for our, uh, for the human race to be sustainable, to be like, to be able to live in uh, harmony with the planet and not damage it, uh, we need to have a very low, well, no, no it's actually not so low, but, you know, uh, a relatively low um, carbon footprint. And if we, if we have a higher carbon, fo carbon footprint, also the sun is, the sun is in my face. That, that little thing you see here, that's the sun. <laughs> uh, it's, it's peeking through the, um, through the trees. Uh, so yeah, basically because we release, because we have a very high carbon footprint, and, and the amount of people that there are in the world. Uh, that's why the climate change is uh, accelerating. And uh, this is a game about uh, showing what we need to do to decrease that carbon footprint. As you can see, there is like, um, uh, th 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 there is a solar panel there. There are like ecological buildings which have like, uh, Plants and trees. Uh, Leia. You're too nice to me. Thank you so much. Also, stop doing poor financial decisions. But thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You are, you are, you are, you are so nice. Uh, also, oh, okay, okay, okay. I totally want to do this now. I totally want to do this now. Because I don't know when you will go to sleep. No, don't don't say hi to myself, please. Wait, no, that's not. Uh, how was how was the command again? <laughs> I forgot my own command. Okay, there we go. I I I I I, I forgot my own command. Let's see what clip you have got. Uh, yes, uh, Princess Leia, by the way, has a really good voice, really deep voice. And she's... That was that was yesterday or what today for um, for our friendos over the pond in uh, the U.S. or 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 in the whole America. Uh, <laughs> it was a uh, streamathon and it was a lot of fun. He was playing marbles. So if you want a really lovely human being that is super bonkable because she's constantly making uh, horny jokes and uh, super nice. And plays all sorts of games. She has been playing Dead by Daylight, of course, but also a lot of horror games, some like funny games, variety, basically anything at all. Uh, go give her a follow. I don't think a lot of people arrived yet here. Yep. So, yeah. Seek fluid intake. Thank you. I will seek your fluid. 
yeah, yeah, exactly. For 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 America, it's still like early morning, like before you go to sleep. I don't think anyone wakes up at three thirty. So <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> I will do what I want, Snake. Anyways, uh, this is a game that teaches us about our own um, uh, ecological decisions and that tells us how to how, what we need to do to prevent climate change from happening. So created by the Financial Times in partnership with Infosys, which I suppose it's a very uh, it's it's a uh, it's a company that uh, handles all that kind of climatic info. info. Uh, OK, your goal. You need to keep global warming to 1.5 degrees by cutting energy related carbon dioxide emissions to net zero by 2050. Basically, uh, the carbon dioxide emissions that we are uh, emitting right now are already uh, heated up our planet by one degree in the last 30 years. And from the, those 30 years, like 70% of that was in the last 10 years. So it's like, like, like it's exponentially growing the, 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 the change. So if we want to reduce it to net zero, we have to like do a lot. And by 2015, in 2021, they reached a record 36 billion tons a year of, of carbon dioxide. You must also deal with other greenhouse gases and protect people and nature for the planet to remain habitable. This game is based on published scientific research and bespoke modeling by the International Energy Agency for the F F FT. You can read more about how it was created here. The game was created by Financial Times. It is based on real science and reporting. However, it is a game, not a perfect simulation of the future. Or obviously, the emissions modeling was developed in 2022 by the International Energy Agency (IEA). The scenarios used in the IEA's Net Zero by 2050 report were recalculated to track the temperature outcomes for specific pathways used in the game. These climate outcomes were calculated using the World Energy Model and Energy Technology Perspective. Okay, that's scientific stuff. So you can see that it's 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 done very realistically based on science and and math. So I am. I'm really curious how it will be. Good luck. The planet is counting on you. Stare deeply into the camera. You would like that, don't you? Uh, yeah, the, the, the game should totally tell the future. After another wave of extreme weather, world leaders want to get serious about climate change. They appoint, appoint you, the global minister for future generations, to make the decisions squabbling nations to have dodged for decades. Uh, global temperatures have already risen by 1.2 degrees compared with the pre-industrial average. You have three rounds covering the years from 2022 to 2050 to use your sweeping global powers to cut emissions to zero and keep temperatures below 1.5 degrees. In 2015, 196 wow, countries adopted the Paris Climate Accord, a legally binding international argument with a goal of limiting global warming to well below 2 uh, degrees Celsius, with efforts to keep it to 1.5. The agreement was signed in 2016. You will not be alone in your quest. Okay, so, choose your advisor. Your advisor will use their specialist knowledge to help you cut emissions. Who do you pick? Gina Green, specialist skill. Uh, okay, uh, each one has uh, their own specialist skill. Teen activist sparking behavioral change. Okay. Entrepren uh, Waldo Watts. Entrepreneur developing new technologies. Catalina Congress, politician driving policy change. David Deals, businessman influencing global leaders. Uh, I don't like any of those. Basically, four types of people I don't like. Well, each one for different. Um, uh, each one for different reasons, but you know. Hmm. Who do you who do you want to choose? Entrepreneur, politician, businessman, or teen? Like businessman and entrepreneur. Like what what what's the difference there? David Deals, Waldo Watts. Developing new technology. I mean, I can I kind of like the new technologies. Like like we could like develop green technologies. Like um, like for example, uh, a new technology that was developed very recently was uh, a new type of solar panels that um, that are able to store much more energy 
and they don't uh, get how, how was that wait like like they're able to uh, generate energy even when it's uh, cloudy because of course as you know when it's cloudy uh, even if you don't see the sun directly uh ultraviolet uh, rays and and on other types of rays also penetrate the the clouds like even if we don't see them uh, they still affect our eyes that's why we have to wear sunglasses even when it's cloudy it, it being cloudy just reduces the amount of uh, sun rays that uh, that get to us but th th there are still a lot of them so yeah uh th that new technology is able to not only store more and uh, and a bigger bigger amount of energy uh, you you will not need so many batteries with your solar panels but uh also it will generate more energy because it will generate like a, a more stable uh, amount of energy over the days and not only when it's sunny solar panels should be transparent so you could stack like five in a smaller area see that's a very good idea okay let's 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 go with them you like david i'm sorry <laughs> no, the, the, the joking but i i really like the new technologies uh okay so 2022 2050 hey stoke to be on board let's cut emissions asap you have a budget of 100 effort points that's yeah nice <laughs> to spend on saving the planet and uh, adapting to a hot, hotter world answers will cost more as you progress through the game but smart smart investments will earn you points back Run out entirely and the game will end. As you play, the planet will change in response to your actions. Be careful. Round 1. 2021 to 2022 till 2025. Coal makes up three quarters of the CO2 produced by electricity. Will you uh, phase out coal plants in wealthy countries over 10 to 20 years? I mean, the, the thing you said, that the nuclear reactors should replace all coal, it's actually true. Like, like uh, from an ec ecological standpoint, nuclear energy is much cleaner than coal energy. And uh, even if there are a lot of problems re related to nuclear energy, there is a technology to make uh, clean nuclear energy. The, the problem is that it's more expensive, and uh, most nuclear energy plants don't have that. So nuclear uh, plants are also... Uh, very uh, damaging for the ecosystem, but they don't have to be, and th that's that's the thing. Like nuclear energy could be the future easily if uh, enough money is invested. Stop all new co coal plants globally and close those in wealthy countries. Let the market take its course, and coal demand will fall. No, phase out coal plants in wealthy countries over 20, ten to twenty years. Let's try this because, like stop all new coal plants i don't think that's a good idea like just cutting them like that because where will the energy come that's one of the problems right now that the energy from russia has like been cut or or what not not, not has been cut but like uh, there is fear over it being cut and uh, that's why the prices are going so so high up like like they skyrocketed so it's it's not good to take like uh super quick actions even if it's needed to take super quick actions but 10 to 20 years sounds much more reasonable. Uh, okay, next question. Cutting emissions in all areas needs new technology. That is true. Each innovation costs five points and you will double your investment if your choices take off. Select one or more of the following. following. Better electric vehicle batteries. Sustainable fuel for planes. I think that's super important. Like, planes are super ecologically damaging like yeah carbon capture from cap factories that's not mad. roads roads made of solar panels are you serious dude that would be so good green hydrogen reforestation using drones i think those two are really good let's let's do those if you have any suggestions uh, as to what i should do please let me know you can play the game with me not only watch me uh good work i will get going on this now and report back asap carbon capture i um maybe i should have but let, 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 let's see transport is the fastest growing co2 emissions problem that's why uh that's why i i wanted the the roads to be made of solar panels and car sales are going up what is your policy Blo ban all global sales of traditional cars by 2035 and invest in electric cars 
invest in self-driving carpooling to cut congestion. Invest in electric cars and make traditional car engines more efficient. The problem with this is that electric cars have the same problem because electricity needs to be made. And um, do you see my, 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 my shadow? You, 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 you. Um, so yeah, I don't think electric cars are the solution unless the electricity is made sustainably. So I think uh, investing in electric cars and making traditional car engines more efficient is actually the way to go. Because even if banning uh, sales of traditional cars in the future is good, investing in electric, electric cars won't do anything unless the electricity is made from a sustainable sources. So, yeah. Actually, invest in self-driving carpooling. To I mean, I think this doesn't have to do with, uh, with electric cars or with um, traditional cars. But I, do, I mean, congestion does create a lot of uh, carbon dioxide because cars are longer in the roads if, if, the, if the roads are congestionated. Hmm, okay, let, let's try that. Uh, buildings. Quarter four out of seven. Buildings and construction make up almost one third of energy use. Cities are growing fast in developing countries. What will you do? Ban global coal and oil boiler sales. Oil boiler? Let us search what is oil boiler. What are go oh, oil boiler? I do use Brave Browser indeed. That's why I have these uh, great images whenever I open a new tab. Isn't it cool? I, I really like that. Uh, how does an oil boiler work? Works by igniting oil in a combustion cham chamber. What? Copper coil. You need oil to function instead of gas. Regular oil. Okay, low water pressure. Cold water is... Huh. That's weird. I had no idea this was a thing. I had no clue. He here it's not really uh, used. Buildings and construction make up almost one-third of energy use. Cities are growing fast in developing countries. What will you do? Ban global coal and oil boiler sales by 2025 and roll out heat pumps. Cap thermostats at 20C in winter. Uh -huh. Improve efficiency start standards for cooling and other appli appliances. Mandate that cities must knock down all poorly insulated homes and replace them with highly efficient equivalents. I quite like that, because here in Spain, one of the problems here is that they don't know how to build houses. And like, literally, unless you pay, unless you have like really good heating, the house will be super, oh, oh well, heating um, and, and cooling. The house will be super cold in winter and super hot in, in, in summer. And there is like nothing you can do unless you want to spend uh, hundreds of uh, bucks in, 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 in heating and, and, well, in, in temperature regulation. So this is actually really good for some countries. Of course, uh, the, the northern you go, like uh, Nordic countries, Germany, Canada, uh, well, not Russia because they're, they're not very, very rich there, but those countries, for example, they have really good um, insulate, insulation. But the more south you go, like a lot of energy gets wasted. So I actually like that. Climate tipping point. Western Tartan ice sheet disintegration. This is happening as we speak. Like, uh, ice in the Antarctic is melting, like, every single day. 
and uh, huge chunks of ice are are breaking uh the permafrost which is uh like uh frozen um frozen pieces of land since uh, thousands of years ago are melting and in that permafrost there are like fossil fossils fossils from a long time ago but also viruses from a long time ago so we are actually um risking that uh, ancient virus will will suddenly wake up because it was uh, frozen in the permafrost and uh, once it melts it will be available again and, and or or like it it will be present again like it's really bad it, it's a really unfortunate situation well done for your hard work so far unfortunately the carbon dioxide are already in the atmosphere is changing the earth dramatically tipping points are looming these are critical climate thresholds that one once pass can lead to irreversible changes to our planetary systems the more you cut emissions the fewer tipping points will have to face in antarctica uh, a giant iceberg almost the size of greater london has broken off a sign that the western antarctic ice sheet may be becoming more unstable let's find out what has happened bad news it's melting at a faster rate the sea levels are on track to rise 1.5 meters by 200 uh, by 2100 you need to build more sea defenses this is happening right now like countries are getting uh um yeah the, the the sea level is rising everywhere in the world and countries that are like low above the sea level are in danger whether cement seal or grass manufacturing causes a lot lots of pollution industry alone makes up about a quarter of energy rated co2 emissions what do you want to do first ban all disposable coffee cups that's well, they, they actually did that, or, or well, they, they did the disposable plastic coffee cups and start a campaign to recycle old bicycles. Okay, give financial breaks to people who recycle their small electronics. Like this, these things, phones. If you like, phones are a giant, well, a giant, it's like 15% of e waste, but it's still like. A lot like e-waste is the fastest growing stream of uh, electro of waste uh in in the whole world and phones are a big part of it because computers you reuse parts or uh, you you give it to someone else because it's like more expensive but with phones or e even if phones are more expensive it doesn't matter like people just don't think about them people think that they are just I don't know, disposable. F phones are marketed to be disposable. That's actually the problem. Like companies, uh, the, the marketing from companies makes them see like something that you can just throw away and buy a new one. Uh, oh, something breaks. Just throw it away and buy the newest model. Like, and, 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 and that's, that, that's a real thing with, with, with phones. It, it's, it's a really bad, like, yeah, we, phones are actually one of the things that really suck right now. Demand that 40% of steel and 15% of plastics come from recycled mat materials by 2030. Steel and plastics. I will actually do this because I like rewarding people who, who, uh, who recycle. I, I want to get rewarded. <laughs> Yo, I've got news. One of my team at Feasible Incorporated has made a breakthrough in battery technology. This is... M-A-S, well, massive for the clean tech revolution. Even my dog Slocky is keyed up. Oh my God, I, li I like this dude. Or this dude that I don't remember if it's a... Which gender, doesn't matter. It's a day. It it's it's non-binary. <laughs> Collect 10 points. Nice. See, we, it's, it's paying off. Your goal is to keep global warming to 1.5 uh, degrees, and this means dealing with greenhouse greenhouse gases other than CO2. Cows, cows are a big source of methane. Global methane emissions account for one third of human caused warming. Do you want to deal with methane now? Focus on methane. Like we need to focus on methane because. Uh, because uh, non-vegetarian -veget diets in a great deal uh, help the climate change as well. So, yeah. Slashing methane emissions is the quickest way to slow global warming because it traps mo far more heat than CO2 and doesn't last as long in the atmosphere. Exactly. 
stopping gas leaks, covering landfills, flooding old coal mines, and less beef and dairy in diets. Exactly. Like, yeah. Will significantly cut methane emissions. A huge step towards net zero. Like, a lot of people are vegan because, like, save animals. But that shouldn't be the real reason. Like, like you don't need to love animals or, or, or other animals th that aren't human uh, to, to be vegetarian. If you care about the environment, you should be you should be vegetarian or vegan because, like, having a meat consuming diet is really really uh damaging for the environment collect 10 points so it only costs 10 points unfortunately our, your message solar panel road has not come in fruition as the panels were not tilted they were shaded for much of the time i didn't absorb enough light so the idea was scrap that's sad that's really sad agriculture and the loss of trees is the largest cause of greenhouse gas emissions after energy how will you tackle those and improve nature's ability to absorb CO2? Allow land emi use emissions to fall naturally? Really? <laughs> Reduce deforestation by two-thirds by 2050 and plant hundreds of millions of hectares of native forest. This is really good. Support companies buying voluntary carbon offsets to protect forests. I actually want to do this. Like, supporting reforest reforestation is huge. Literally huge. Land use contributes a quarter of human caused greenhouse gas emissions through the cutting down of trees for farming and poor soil and rice paddy management. Cutting them significantly is a huge step towards saving the planet. Plant, yeah, nature has improved the health of the world's forest. Indeed. Oh, wow, dude, this is cool. Electricity, buildings, transport, industry. You must do more to cut energy-related uh, emissions. Select a sector for more, more detail on why. Uh, uh, awards. A green future creates a new... For, there are five awards. So window game. You won an award for protecting nature. One of two available in round one. Methane top marks. Land use top marks. Net zero tracker. You are a long way off reaching net zero. Keep going and the planet will be in trouble. Oh my god. Okay, that's not good. Uh, change. It, it 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 grew, but yeah. Oh, energy related uh, CO two emissions actually went down. Immediately stopping new coal plants and closing those in wealthy nations would would have been better than a gradual phase out. Really? Okay. I mean, I think that economical problems caused by this would actually have uh, impact. But okay, that's good to know. Uh, you are off track for this sector. We are a long way off. Okay. Okay. Banning sales of coal and oil boilers would have been better than knocking down and rebuilding poorly insulated homes. Okay. Uh, it's almost no change. They, banning sales of internal combustion cars and investing in electric vehicles would have been better than a car sharing plan. Did I accept a car sharing plan? I don't remember. Industry. Okay, electricity is not bad. Industry is not bad, but buildings and transport are bad. Bad at the environment. I mean, it's really hard. It's actually really hard. Okay, round two. Polling shows some voters think you're moving too fast. That's the problem. Like, people are just dumb. And they're worried electricity bills will soar. How will you get them on site? Hello there. Start a global advertising campaign on climate change and green jobs. Ask Twitter to promote the hashtag Save Our Planet. <laughs> Twitter hashtags save absolutely everything. Like this is the exact epitome of the human race. Like, like I love that they added this option there because some people actually believe that fighting on Twitter will do anything. Like it will do absolutely nothing. Uh, who came out? Tuta. Hello. <laughs> Waiting for a bit, buddy. I will. I will play it at some point. I will add it to. I. I will actually uh, place it on um, on the next poll, together with um, what was it? Oh yeah, together with Lucius, because uh, our amazing uh, Princess Leia has gifted us Lu Lucius, which is a horror game. So I have to add it to the poll as well. Uh. How are you, Tuta? How did you sleep? Good morning. Start a global advertising campaign on climate change and green jobs. Just ignore them, they are wrong. 
I mean, yeah, this is needed. Like, people need to know what's uh, what's happening. Your campaign is working. People are excited about the potential jobs that will come with the green wave. Exactly. Like, it actually creates jobs. Like, using robots to for a industry, like, sure, people lose some jobs, but then more jobs are, are needed in um, in other things. Like, yeah, it's... You have decided how you want to deal with coal. What will you do next about electricity? Gradually expand renewable electricity and invest in energy storage. Invest 2 trillion a year in renewable electricity. About 1% of projected global uh, GDP in 2030. Pump 4 trillion a year. 2% of group into all clean energy sources. Like, clean energy sources is incredibly needed. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, clean energy is, is incredibly needed. It's, it's, it's needed a lot. Adaptation. Despite your efforts so far, carbon already in the atmosphere is causing the world to get hotter. How many points would you like to spend on adaptation? Climate change adaptation involves helping societies to adapt to temperature rises, both now and in the future. This includes building infrastructure such as flood and fire defenses, developing crops that can cope with new climatic conditions, and exploring new ways of cooling buildings. Okay. Uh, how do you suspend an adaptation to help improve people's life and protect them from heat waves, floods, wildfires, and rising seas in the future? Uh, adaptation is really important. Build infrastructure that will help people live in a hotter planet. This is hard. Because if we want to, if we want to like cut it, w uh, would it, wouldn't it like go to waste? Because the planet will not be hotter, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, basically admitting the feet, preparing for the feet, I would say. So, but at the same time, even right now, like today already, and, and for the last year. In Dubai, for example, and countries around the equator, people are dying due to, due to the heat. Like India, for example. Like in India, in India, people right now are dying because of that. Transport is not only about cars. What will you do to address emissions from planes? Planes are incredibly. Um, uh bad for the environment develop a fuel powered hypersonic plane that can travel from london to sydney in four hours to cut commercial flight times okay monday 20 percent low carbon fuel for aviation cap the number of long haul flights introduce a frequent flyer tax <coughs> hmm. this one is basically like just cutting and this one is developing new technologies. I think because we have a guy that developed new technologies, we should uh, focus on the new technology part. Coral reefs dying, literally happening right now. In Australia, the, 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 the coral reefs are dying. Mar marine, marine heat waves are threatening the world's coral reefs. The next one forecast to hit the Caribbean could bleach the coral beyond repair. Let's check the temperature. Disaster strikes. The marine heat wave is intense and the coral are now gone forever. Welcome back, Le Welcome back Leia. Why are you not sleeping? Sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Fish stocks collapse, depriving residents of food and work. You must send aid to unlimit the unrest. Imagine sleeping. Do sleeping. Perform the act of sleeping. What will you do next to tackle? Do next to tackle emissions from buildings. Uh, deal with both old and new buildings. Retrofit 20% of the old ones. Declare all new buildings to must be zero carbon. Uh, <coughs> rule that new bu buildings must be zero carbon, for example, with good insulation. But only in rich countries. No, 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 no. That will only increase the differences between uh, rich and poor countries. Paint all building ro rooftops white to deflect the sun. Really? It's not as easy as that. Like, what the hell? 
I do not understand this option at all. Like that doesn't work. And 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 it's also so much effort. I expected like one point, not ten. I, I dislike the only rich countries part, so I will do this one. I know that white reflects light, but it doesn't work that well. Like it it's it's very limited effect. Economic incentives can also help cut carbon emissions. Polluters in Europe are paying about 100 uh, be, uh, 100 dollars for every ton that is re released. Do you want to set a global carbon price? Yeah, of course it's better than black, but the difference is not worth it. Carbon pricing has not worked well anyway. Set a carbon price that rises to 250 per ton for developed countries by 2050. This will add... Oh my god, okay, I really don't like... Uh, Adding the, the 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 increasing the price for petrol. I don't think that's a great idea. Let, let, let's do this in develop for developed countries because the developed countries are actually the ones that uh, pollute the most in general. The carbon price is prompting businesses and investors to back the new infrastructure needed for green energy. Great global acceptance for the of the price has also helped avoid a carbon border trade war. Okay, nice. Okay. I, I got two awards in, in, in the second round. Improving rec recycling was important for cutting industrial emissions. What's next? Invest 200 billion annually in reducing industry emissions, such as through carbon capture and storage and making steel using hydrogen. Make cement and aluminium, pro aluminium production more efficient. Commission a research project into innovative low carbon steelmaking. I think the, because we didn't do carbon capture earlier, we can do it now. Otherwise, I would do this because, as always, uh, new technologies are great. But otherwise, I, I will do this because we didn't do carbon capture before. Your decision to invest in aviation industry innovation is starting to pay off, and more planes are using fuels made from waste oils and algae. Algae. Oh, algae. That's nice. A green transition can have global benefits. You won both awards available in round two. Round two. <laughs> For responsible growth and increasing equality. Land use. Millions of hectares have now been rewilded while collaboration between indigenous communities, agri-businesses, agri and investors has drastically slowed deforestation. You're doing well, but not quite uh, on track. Redouble your efforts in the final round. Okay, you are off track. Algae makes more oxygen than trees. I didn't know that, but it makes sense. Well, trees are definitely needed because you cannot have algae in, uh, in, uh, on land. But wherever possible, algae should be also good. Okay, so transport is needed more. Huh. Okay, your fuel guzzling hypersonic plane was so popular, flights increased. You needed car low carbon fuel and less long haul flights. That is true. Like by making the flights shorter, I just incentivized people to fly more. That was so dumb. <laughs> I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Okay, that was dumb. It was the right choice to invest 200 billion annually in supercharging industrial decarbonization, retrofitting 20% of existing buildings and decreeing that all new was must be zero carbon was the right choice. Your bold 4 trillion annual investment in all clean energy sources was the right move. Reports suggest that previous decision, decisions by the Global Minister for Future Generations are going to have a significant impact on how much it will cost to tackle climate change of the next 20 years. Good luck. Ooh, okay. Electricity must be the core of the new energy system. Indeed. How do we want it to be generated by 2050? Definitely 88%. Like, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, we need it to be, uh, to be renewable. Like, there is no other option right now. Yeah, 
I can't do anything about it. Uh, our next report is from Carbon71. I don't think that was... I think it will return the points that we will get. Uh, it was like, I know, but I think it was needed. Like, renewable, like, Im imagine, imagine being able to do everything with electricity instead of gas, instead of petrol, instead of uh, anything else. Like, you would be able to only have electric cars, and that would be perfectly okay, because the electricity would no longer be made uh, from, uh, from uh, harmful sources. So, like, if, if, you, if you made electricity uh, zero waste, to, to say it like that, you can literally uh, change all the th all the things to be uh, to be uh, using electricity, and it would be okay. It you would actually help by using more electricity because the electricity would be clean. Well, that's why that that's why I did that because the power cannot cut out because we have a lot of uh, a lot of renewable sources. Renewable sources don't run out. Wind, sun. Uh, water, th those those sources like those sources never run out. So actually, uh, th there would be less uh, power cuts. There would be there, there would be le less less ones. Our next report is from Carbon Valley. Uh, that what the name? Where residents have been calling for cleaner air, shadier public spaces, and green travel options. A new study links soaring pollution and carbon value to a lack of spending on adapting to climate change through sustainable city design. The failure to plant trees and prioritize safe cycling and walking routes leads to traffic jams and the public are blaming the global minister for future generations. Well. Uh, you have run out of points. But like that was not really the the mistake of that this last decision. The mistake was that it, I didn't um, I didn't uh, invest enough. I didn't do enough effort because, as uh, according to what I saw, the higher effort I I did, like the the more I I I got in, I got back. So let let me let me try. Let me try again. Let's try David to, to satisfy Leia. Okay. So, uh, 10 points. L let me try real quickly uh, do all of this, for example. Uh, okay, invest in electric cars. Okay, collect 10 points. Well, the road is bad, sure, but it's okay. I, I just want to try if it works like this. Uh, and replace with highly efficient equivalents. Okay. See, the ice sheet remains stable. The sea level is still rising, but the worst has been averted, at least for now. Uh, okay. I reached out of the 10 biggest financiers of fossil fuels who agreed to end all support for new coal, oil, and gas production immediately. Collect 10 points. Focus on methane. Good choice. Collect 10 points. Your decision in improving batteries is paying off. Well, okay. Solar panel roads was not a good idea. You're right. <laughs> Reduce deforestation. Okay. Collect 10 points. Not quite on track. Really? Okay, at least in electricity, I'm good. In buildings, no. In transport, yes. In industry, yes. Okay, only buildings. Round two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know. I, I, I guess I should have... Uh, okay, do this. The campaign is working. Four trillion a year, I already did that. Adaptation is important, I suppose. Uh, 
Ok. Ok, see? I bring good news, your, your bet on green hydrogen is paying off. The price of machines that make hydrogen, called electrolyzers, is falling. Making hydrogen from water and clean power is said to be one of the cheapest sources of energy in the world. Yeah. Research that you funded into carbon capture, utilization and storage is yielding results. The capture of carbon from smokestacks is more efficient and is starting to cut factory emissions. Collect 20 points. Coral reefs dying. The heat wave is less severe than expected. The Caribbean corals and fish species survive for now. Uh, okay, declare all new buildings must be zero carbon. I, I, I will still do this because it worked out. Okay, only, I only need health then. Uh, okay. Carbon capture. Let, let's do this because I said I would do that if I did carbon capture earlier. So, unfortunately, your bet to plant trees by using drones to sow seeds did not have as much impact as you would have as you had hoped. While the plan was useful for planting in rugged ground, a low seed survival rate meant it did not help reforest at the rates needed. Okay. Uh, your decision to invest in aviation industry innovation is starting to pay off, and more planes are using fuels made wa from waste and oil oils and al algae. Okay, industry no, buildings no, but the others yes. And at least, well, transport is now good, but okay, interesting. Reports suggest previous decisions made uh, by the global, okay, are going to have a significant impact, okay. And and see that this is why. Oh, it costs twenty points now. Because I did more before, it means now it's cheaper to do this. And this is actually how it is in reality as well. Like doing more now will mean that. Making changes in the future will be cheaper and easier. I really love this. This is actually very accurate and incredibly like eye-opening. Wow. Go live to Carbon Valley. We are starting to see the benefits of the Global Minister for Future Generations decision to invest in adapting to climate change. Firstly, focusing on sustainable city design means more trees for shade and less use of, for, of private cars. Air pollution is falling and people are healthier and happier. Collect points. Amazon rainforest dieback. Much of the Amazon is on the brink of changing from rainforest to dry savanna. Oh my god. After years of deforestation, any more logging could make it irreversible. Let's see what happens next. Hmm. A presidential candidate who supports slash and burn policies comes into power. As the rainforest passes its tipping point, weather patterns change across the entire region, leading to severe droughts. You must send support. Okay. Population and economic growth mean that road transport is on the rise. How will you deal with it from 2030 to 2050? Actually, I should have already stopped playing this, but you know, it, it's actually really good. I, I really like it, so, so I started again. Sorry for that. <laughs> I, I meant to, to just click it really quickly to see, like, always spending the, the, the most effort, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's done really well that you don't always have to spend the most effort. Sometimes like prices change because of your past decisions and and so on. Like it's 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 a really good game actually, even if it's just made by a by a newspaper company. Population and economic growth mean that road transport is on the rise. How will you deal with it from 2030 to 2050? Electrify all new buses, vans, and lorries, and push for almost all vehicles on the road to be electric. See? And uh, in this case, this is actually really good, because in the past, Piggyback is playing uh, Hold Fast. Oh, nice. Uh, in the past, um, using electric vehicles was not really solving anything, because the electricity was still uh created by fossil fuels and uh, harmful sources but now it's actually really good because 
all of this electricity, all of the new buses, vans and lorries, and almost all vehicles on the road, are using renewable energy. So, this is really good. Putting more electric vehicles on the road has good pollution, made people healthier and happier. A big heat wave is about to strike the mega city of Dystopiana, a population 20 million. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I, I see the sound now. <laughs> Thank you for your redeem, Laia. More than a million people are vulnerable and could die from prolonged exposure. The region has already been severely affected by heat and drought over the past decade, and this could spark civil unrest. Uh, it looks like forward planning by the Global Minister for Future Generations means the city is adapting to this extreme weather. Heat shelters are everywhere, and buildings such as schools and clinics have been repurposed to give refugee to the most vulnerable. Okay. Nice. See, I, I have... Uh, I, I, I got my points back now. Policy changes and new technologies won't be enough. Human behavior will have to adapt too. Exactly. Like, people think like, Oh, what I do doesn't matter. Like, you don't realize that you're one of 8 billion people. And if all 8 billion people think like you, no change will be made. Like, you need to change as well. <laughs> that actually makes me so mad. How will you reduce emissions from the food that people eat? Promote plant-based food to, re to reduce meat and dairy in diets. Invest in research to improve crop production. Thank you. I know that all proteins in them must now come from insects. Hmm. I don't think this is good. I mean, sure, but I, th I, th I think this is the best. Reducing meat and dairy in diets was the right decision. As is right now. Like, right now it's also the right decision. Livestock require vast amount of land for feed crops and are inefficient and turning these into calories for humans. Exactly. Building emissions have fallen, but not by enough. How will we get them to zero? Incentivize people to have more plants in their homes. 40 points? Hmm. Uh, okay. Incentivize people to have more plants in their homes and gardens to capture CO2. I guess, like, as you can see, there are plants everywhere, so maybe, like, I don't want to spend 40 points after what happened last time. Then again, what do you think? Do you, as you can see, like, I have been getting points back for my decisions. Do you think 40 is worth it? I, I will, this time I will, I will listen to you, Snack. Uh, this one I will, I will listen to you. <laughs> Hello, Tuta, welcome back. Gardens. Okay, nice lurking. Okay, gardens. There is a sword church. Yeah, the amount of effort seems excessive. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your input. There is a shortage of critical minerals such as copper, lithium, and cobalt because of high demand for their use in batteries and wind turbines and mobile phones. What do you do? Nothing, let just the market take care of itself, of course. Send a mission to Mars to mine for lithium. Invest in research into new and recycled materials. I think I, I actually really like um I actually really like this option. Yeah, I I like it. Great decision here. Into new and recycled materials was the right choice. The shortage, the shortage is subsi subsiding. Like other planets to mine for resources are great, but uh, it will not solve our problems right now. Like um, the 
the space race, like which will get us to other planets, needs to be like long term, but it cannot be something so quick. Industry emissions are the hardest to get to zero. What will you do to cut them by 2050? Set national goals to gradually increase hydrogen use and use of carbon capture and storage. Significantly expand the use of green hydrogen for industrial production and scale up carbon capture and storage in steel and cement plants. Build state-of-the-art steel mills to make steel making more efficient. I, of course, not this one because that, that means we would lose right now. But I don't know if carbon capture and storage or state-of-the-art steel mills. Steel mills. Like this actually looks a little bit better because carbon capture is good. And hydrogen use, using hydrogen is also good, but maybe the steel making uh, uses a lot of. Maybe it uses a lot of uh, resources, I guess. You gave it a good go, but your policies weren't bold enough to avoid the worst effects of climate change. However, it could have been much worse. Every emission cuts we make improves the world we live in. One point fifty-eight. Okay, that's relatively good. Your planet is on a course for one point fifty-eight of warming by twenty-one hundred compared with the pre-industrial average. Extreme heat waves will be about five times more likely. And the roads twice as frequent compared with the pre-industrial average, but your actions have averted the very worst effects of climate change. While the impact would have been milder at 1.5C, you still succeeded in achieving the less ambitious Paris Agreement goal of limiting warming to well below 2C. <laughs> I love the 2% of people who just like... who just didn't care. <laughs> You ended up with, with, between 1.5 and 1.7 of warming. 39% of, of players got the same result. Figures do not include players sucked from the role. Yeah, like, like my, my last uh, decision was uh, I just lost. And I think a lot of players actually lost the game the first time. Same as me. So, innovation, investing in electric vehicle batteries, sustainable aviation for green hydrogen and carbon, carbon capture from factories paid off. Unfortunately, roads paved with solar panels and mass tree planting by drone did not come to fruition. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, see, it's zero. So getting 88% of electricity from renewables and 8% from nuclear means almost all your power is from low emission sources. Retrofitting 85% of buildings and improving household habits would have been better than incentivizing household plants. This was the one that cost uh, 50 point, uh, 40 points. The problem is that it was 40 points because I didn't do good decisions before. I guess I did the, like the road pave with solar panels and the, the mass tree planting with drones. Both of those, if I didn't do them, this uh, option would have been uh, cheaper. Transport, okay, that's good. Electrifying all new buses, vans and lorries and pushing for almost all vehicles to be electric was a net zero choice. Expanding hydrogen use and fitting steel and cement plants with carbon capture would have been better than new steel mills. Okay, that was a bad decision. That's too bad. Okay. I think this was really good, though. What do you say? Did you like this game? I, th I think this is actually a very good... Really good... Uh, game to like make you see what effects actually your actions have. And that it's not only about the overall decisions from politicians and like the world leaders, but it's also the, de the decisions that we, each person, make. 15, 20, 15, 20. Remaining, 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 remaining. Okay, this was quite bad. Yeah, I, I, I really like this. More games should they make like this. And this should be available on Steam. This should be available on Steam, on Epic, on GOG, on all the platforms, because people need to play this. People need to play this to, to see what it is. 
I will actually like share this on my Discord because because it's a really good game. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're not traumatized for the cli from the climate change right now. <laughs> if you are, I'm sorry, but as you can see, it can be done better. And the right decision definitely uh, leads to uh, positive outcomes. So don't don't be anxious. It will be okay. And uh, as always, uh, subscribe, like, comment. All those YouTube things are available for you to do. And we appreciate it. And I will see you in the next short game, whatever that is.